Uh, greetings, uh, friends. I'm told that we are having a conference on how the world should react uh, in terms of the economics to this, uh, this coronavirus uh, pandemic. Of course, it's a big challenge for the world because the virus has definitely hit certain sectors of the economy badly. This is especially uh, tourism, which indirectly or directly, in fact, affects uh, the, the airline industry. Then it also affects the hotels. Then also the entertainment has been affected. It affects uh, uh, some of the services. Uh, in the short run, services like education will be affected, but I think those will bounce back. But the ones which, are, which will suffer really are the uh, entertainment sector. However, me, I'm not uh, pessimistic. This is because I even authored uh, a document here which my people can send to you, where I make a distinction between real economy of survival and livelihood on the one hand, and the economy of pleasure and leisure on the other hand. Here in Uganda, our analysis is that the economy of livelihood and uh, survival will not be affected. In fact, it will grow. What I regard as the real economy is the economy that answers the basic human needs. Which are these human needs? Number one, food. The need for food will never go away, whether there is a war or epidemic or whatever. It may be affected uh, slightly, like for instance here, the people who are in the poultry industry uh, have got some problems because they were supplying hotels and the hotels were, were feeding tourists. But they can reorient their activities and start producing for the food supplements. Like for instance, the eggs, the people are producing eggs. Instead of feeding the hotels, they can now process the eggs and get uh, food supplements out of the eggs and sell those. So element number one of the real economy is, is, is the economy for food. The second, the second is clothing. The human, being, human beings will always need, need, always need uh, clothes. The third one is shelter, houses, which means cement, steel, and other building materials. The fourth is medicine. Actually, we, not, we now need more medicine than even before. The fifth is security, items which are important for security. Th these five are the best human needs which will never go away. However, in order to deal with those, you need infrastructure. You need electricity, you need uh, piped water, you need uh, telephones, you need the railway transport. So those activities also will continue, I'm sure, whatever happens. The, the seventh is, uh, is uh, education, because in order to do all of this, you need knowledge, 
you need skills, you need literacy, you need numeracy. So that is a need that will never go away, education. Education will never go away. Then health. Although need number four is medicine, but medicine needs a network of how to deliver it. You need the health centers, you need the hospitals, you need the uh, training institutions. Those ones will always be in demand, training nurses, training uh, doctors. Uh, that's number eight. Number nine, spiritual. Because in order to do all of this, we need people who are clean, especially the public service who are not corrupt. What will make them remain on the straight path. In some, in, there is an element of culture. In some, in some cultures, they have got a, a strong culture of, of uprightness, but uh, spirituality, the fear, fear of God is always a, a most important input when it comes to that. Therefore, here in Uganda, this is the economy we are emphasizing. Now, the other economy of leisure and pleasure will come back, will come back. When we defeat the pandemic, tourists will come back, entertainment will come back, sports will come back, uh, gambling will come back, all those will come back. But our emphasis now is on the real economy uh, as we wait for the what I call the vulnerable economy, the economy which, is, which, which tends to be vulnerable, which is the economy of pleasure and leisure. It is my honor now to declare the, con the conference closed. I didn't know that I was the one closing the conference, but it's a big honor for me to close it. Thank you. <laughs>